السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم سلما این آئی واز ریزڈ ان اے ہندو بیک گراؤنڈ وتھ فائیو ادر برادرس اینڈ سسٹرس اے ریلیجن ویری سملر ٹو دا پری اسلامک ٹائم وی آر مینی گوڈس ویئر اوشپ ان دا فارم آف آئیڈلس اینڈ پکچرس اینڈ دس میکس اٹ ویری ڈیفیکلٹ پروبیبلی for the Hindus to comprehend Islam where we worship only one God, the unseen and in no shape or form. I was raised in a religious environment where my parents were, my parents are still practical Hindus and I used to pray like once or twice a week and now I mean like I have to get used to five times daily prayer and it It was very difficult, but, uh, but slowly got used to it. And so my mother says to me, how come you used to only pray once or twice a week and now you are doing it five times a day? <laughs> and so I say, help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and this is why I'm able to do so. I come from Fiji, yeah. but raised in a like, remote area, in a village area. And um, there were very few, like two or three Muslims, Muslim families around. And we were not allowed to mix around with them, and we really uh, had so much hatred for them. Maybe we didn't know about them or something like that, so we didn't, we didn't know any background or anything like that, so maybe that's why we, we had so much ill feeling against them. It was through my marriage with Sheikh Najim that I came to know about Islam. And like the Quran was revealed over a period of 23 years to our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, I too was like exposed to Islam very gradually, a step at a time. It was a very difficult time in the beginning, but um, I admire the patience and the courage of my husband in, um, in finding the means to get around things whereby he could, I mean, teach me things. And there were many times, many a times, I remember that I said to him that I can't take this anymore because it may be too difficult. And the most frustrating thing was that he would never talk to me about Islam, like the pillars of Islam or prayers or anything, but he just do a little bit, give me a little bit of information at a time. And that made it like a bit easy. Had he told me at the beginning that you had to pray five times a day or read the Quran or learn the Arabic and all this, probably this would have not been possible. The journey would not have been possible. And I remember just five months into, my, uh, into Islam came Ramadan and just two days before Ramadan he would talk to me about fasting. And I still remember that day. The first day I fasted, the iftar was at around 8 p.m., but I couldn't go any further than 5 p.m. So I rang him up and said to him that I can't fast anymore. And instead of saying, no, nah, you have to do it, he said to me, you can break your fast and take a break tomorrow and start again the other day. So he did not like force things onto me, and which was really good, alhamdulillah. The initial stages of Islam, I mean, my family were very, I mean, like, angry at me, and there was a feeling of hatred. But slowly, they, I think they had to take, get used to the fact that I will never turn back. So they accepted me. And it was a couple of years back when my uh, like sisters and my mother came to visit me. And when they came here, alhamdulillah, the community members here, they invited them to their place. And that was my biggest worry as to how they're going to feel when they come here. And mashallah, the community members did such a great job. They did not even, there was, they did not even make, her feel, make them feel that there was any barrier between Islam and Hinduism. So we all went there, visiting five or six families in here. And... Um, and it was all so comfortable. And in the end, before they left, they said, you will never get this reception from your own relatives as much as you are surrounded by these Muslim communities in here, I mean, the people of the community in here. So that was very, alhamdulillah, I'm so grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that. 
before my conversion to Islam, my parents were not mixing around with the Muslims and things like that. They kept a distance. But now, I think through my conversion to Islam, my parents are getting, I mean, making friends, getting used to mixing around with them. So on the Eid day, every year, they say that these Muslim families around in the, in the area they live, they bring sweets to their place, as well as on their Hindu function like Diwali, Deepavali. My parents and my sisters and them, they make sweets and distribute amongst the Muslims. So it's communication in both ways, and that really breaks the barrier. The wearing of hijab was the hardest bit in my life. I mean, out of all these things, I found wearing the hijab was very tough. And there was, there was objection from my family members as well. They said, if you can do everything, but don't wear a hijab. But then my friends around here, they told me to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and pray tahajjud and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for help. And that's what I did. Because it wasn't coming, I knew I would never be able to do that. So I did that and alhamdulillah I started wearing hijab. And, and still at the beginning I was a bit uncomfortable, but now I'm, go I'm so much used to it that I can't even go anywhere. And I really like wearing hijab and all covered. I feel very comfortable with it because I grew up in a similar environment. So alhamdulillah it's... Good, but sometimes I have to uh, decide, like when I'm going to my relatives, I have to um, sort of tell them beforehand that I'm wearing a hijab and that I'll be going around with you people with my hijab on and if they feel comfortable or not with it. And if they are comfortable, then I go, otherwise if they say no, then I just don't mix around with them. It's simple. But now it, they have all accepted it, alhamdulillah, and they are all very comfortable. I think Islam offers a very simple, affordable, and a healthy lifestyle. Anyone can follow Islam. You don't have to be poor, you don't have to be rich. Because it's a very simple religion. If we follow the sunnah of our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it becomes very, very simple and very easy too. And um, also when you pray, when we pray, I, when I pray, I get a very, uh, pe I get so much peace, inner peace in me. So once I feel very comfortable once I pray. Actually, Islam has changed my life in some ways. For example, I find more committed and um, more focused. Before I had all this free time and I did not know how to use it. Now I know I have to read the Quran and the five times daily prayers and all those things. But freedom-wise, it hasn't changed much because um, I was raised in a very controlled environment and I grew up with gender segregation and there was very limited social life, very strict social life. We are, we are not allowed to sleep over at friends, we are not allowed to go to movies or nightclubs or no alcoholic drinks or anything like that. And as religious Hindus, we did not eat beef or pork, so that was very good, alhamdulillah, in this religion, that helps me. Most, most of the things are just similar. So I hear quite often people say, oh, Islam is very tough, too many restrictions, but I think I grew up with more restrictions than them. I find these people over here, the Kiwis, especially non-Muslims, these people are very, very tolerant, and they are very accepting as well. For example, um, my, my sons play sports, and once, while they were younger, they had to go for a Quran competition to Auckland, and he had to tell, tell his coach that he can't play that weekend. And they asked him why, they, why he couldn't do it. And then he said that he was going to Auckland for the Quran competition. And the whole team, they are the only Muslims there, and the whole team and the coach wished, wished them luck and also said that we need to bring the trophy to Wellington and beat those people over there. 
And as soon as he returned to the training, they all came running to him and said, how did it go? But my son said, no, we couldn't come first, but we did manage to come second. And they said, alhamdulillah, try harder next year. Today. So this is how, I mean, and also when I go around shopping, the ladies come up to me and admire the hijab, which is very unusual. I, I always thought that they will, they'll have a very negative feeling, but no. And plus we have to get out in there in the community and mix around with them. That's the main thing. If we just ignore them, then it's very difficult. You'll always have ill feelings against them and all the negative things, thinkings will be there. So the main thing is we have to get around them. Then you'll find how nice they are. I'm so lucky to be in this community here. The people are very, very helpful. They teach me all the things like Sister Leila and her family and Sister Rehana and many, many others. They just make me feel that um, I'm amongst my own family members here and that is very very e that makes life very easy and also I would say that because of Islam because of the worship of one God the people the Muslim people are very united and they help each other so much every time they are there if you have any problems I can openly go to anyone if I have any questions, I can go to the Imam and ask the question. He's always there to answer the questions if in doubt. And I still have so many questions, even though it's such a long time into Islam, but still I have too many questions crossing my mind. And I always have it clear. And it is a very peaceful religion. I find that worshipping one God, you just get inner peace. After you pray, it's just very different environment altogether from what I was before, because I've got the comparison of both the religions. And from what I was before, from what I know, I find it very peaceful. There is tranquility in there and everything. Easy lifestyle. Don't have to worry, don't have to run after the world or any competition or anything like that. Before I was just focused on this dunya every time. Do this, do this, do this. But now it's the spiritual side and if I and I think that if you don't have that spirituality in you, probably one side is missing, one half of uh, you is missing. Alhamdulillah, I'm so grateful to be in Islam.